Uh, Chase Brannick, Space Mechanic, by uh, Mark for French. Right, man, I, I feel so weird saying for French. And also, I had to like make sure that the game actually, because it's a browser and it likes to. Anyway, hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we're looking at another game from the Seven Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. As I can't manage to say a single complete sentence in that introduction. That's a new record. I think I had four or five balancing in the in the. The strange process there. So here we are, playing as a space brannick mechanic man. Just use the cursor keys to move around and do stuff. Maybe interact. Oh, WASD keys to shoot. Okay, that's understandable. Whoa. Um, why did I do that? Why this? I'm just flying around. Why, why am I flying around occasionally? Uh, and also, okay, there we go. I finally shot. Oh, why does... Hmm. Okay, I just shot, and I hurt myself. That's great. <laughs> That's just the best. Can I shoot these? No, they don't do anything anyway. Oh, okay, and I can't shoot past those. Am I just trying to get to the next floor at this point? Uh-oh. Yeah, I had a feeling that I was going to... All the way, man. All the way. So, okay... I'm kind of understanding a little bit of this game, but I am not getting at all what I uh, what I do to accomplish. Is it? Hmm. I don't want to be there. Darn it! Am I gonna be stuck? Yeah. Okay. Not entirely. Good. And this is where I need to be. So I just go all the way to the right and up. But I don't see why I move. Uh, I slide basically. Uh, in one case, but not the other. Uh-oh. Oh! Okay, this is real time. Great. <laughs> uh, press Q to swing a wrench. Okay. And that deals a lot of damage. Um. Okay. But I need to, like, line these guys up properly. Because otherwise I'm just going to take way too much damage. Ah, man. Yeah, and I don't know why I uh, occasionally kind of slip and slide. But I can shoot the wrench and it does everything, but there's just way too many ghosts right now. I don't... Um, I guess I could do this and uh, just try to get myself away. Try to get myself to a more useful position where I'm killing stuff. Uh, without taking a little too much back ah, great. Okay, let's try this. And hopefully enemies won't show up on the bottom so that I can just wail on them. Come on. Come on. What are you, a man or a mouse or a ghost? Um, oh, man, what's an M word for a ghost? Like a mallo mal mallard? Mallard? Mallard. Yeah, I knew that the ghosts were spawning from somewhere. Come on. Oh, hit. Thank you. Good. Okay. I'm just... Man, I'm so close to dying right now. Are you... No, you're not even a thing. Take corpses to... Great. Okay. Um, I don't even know where the airlock is, but I guess that's something... Oh, darn it! I'm so close to dying! Oh, man. Well, that was that. <laughs> That was, oh, and the game does not necessarily start in the same way. Okay. So I'm, I'm wrenching this thing. Okay, there we go. There we go. So this game is far more thing than, than I thought it was. Because at first I thought it was like, oh, the first bit is a uh, just a little movement puzzle to get you oriented with, with what you're actually doing in this game. So... But no, it's, it's not. And I want to know where these ghosts are coming from. Uh, I mean, are they, are they coming from the... Darn it. There we go. So I got the... Ow. Was that... Wait, we'll just... And where are the airlocks? And why... Where are the... Oh. Okay, the ghosts are coming from this corpse. Crap. Where is an airlock? Is it, is it a THE airlock? You know, distinctly an airlock that is specifically designed for some place in the universe that I need to find, or what? Come on! There we go. I'm just 
gotta run. Where? Man, I need to find the airlock. I totally need to find the airlock. Where is this airlock? That is an awesome thing. Okay, so certain certain of these things have uh, means for. This, I guess if I you know wrench down these things, I actually get stuff out of them sometimes, and sometimes I don't. But I need to find this airlock. Is oh, um. Is that what the orange-red sort of mirror-looking thingamabobber is? I'm gonna guess that it is, and I've passed them since, so... Hold on, just a horse-flippin' second. Let's go ahead and... Oh, and you can get more than 100 health. Well, that's convenient. So, let's see. Airlock, airlock. Okay, this thing's been airlocked properly, I guess. Um, more importantly, I need to wrench it or something. Darn it. It... it Sent it where? Okay, there we go. I have to press E. That was a guess, by the way. <laughs> because where all the keys are sitting, it just seemed like the most expected place for the, the keys to be. Come on, there we go. Um, one thing I'm noticing, and of course you're not going to notice it perfectly, by the way that... Oh! <laughs> forgot to close the airlock. Forgot to close the airlock. Just, just like me to do that. Okay, well let's hope that there's an airlock pretty close around here. Good, there is. Now I just need to find a way to get to it without slip sliding around everywhere. Okay, so you're sitting nice and pretty. Nice and pretty. Oh, and I have to do this reactor thing too. Um, maybe I even have to do this beforehand. Can I just hit it from here? Good. Alright, cool. So, you know, I mean... <laughs> I don't even know if I explain this, but the controls are somewhat unresponsive, let me just say. Uh, and I don't know if it's because it's a Unity game that has to be played on the whole, you know, bazeepers, bajangos, jango fets of crazy apple... I'm not even making sense, hold on, let's, let's try to collect my thoughts a little bit. Um, the game's in Unity, and I don't know, it always seems like Unity has like a little bit of problems when it comes to things. <laughs> I don't get the slip slide. Apparently I can still do stuff while I'm slip sliding though. So it's not the worst thing in the, in the universe um, to be stuck with it. Okay, so I airlocked and I unairlocked and so the corpse is gone. So that's good. But I need to get more corpses. So, And that's basically what we need to do. And, and we've kind of learned that more or less. Oh my gosh, I get to that corpse and run away and try to kill okay come on there we go keep moving keep moving and we just gotta take him to the airlock take him to the airlock zone do the airlock I can't go man okay there we go I wasn't able to get to it properly okay come on almost got it there we go okay so that airlock's been handled effectively. And with prejudice, extreme prejudice, <laughs> extreme ghost-hating prejudice. Ugh, but I really need to understand this sliding gimmick. I don't know if it's a result of other stuff or what, but it just happens. Um, oh man, get this, okay, good. There's gonna be a, a lot of ghosts though here. And I need to just kind of consolidate myself and just annihilate things for a while. But let's talk about this game. I really like it, and the real-time is kind of interesting. It probably doesn't even need to be real-time. I think turn-based would work just fine for a game of this magnitude, especially because if you just sit around here, uh, it just kind of throws things off, so... I'd much prefer it if the game wasn't real-time, basically, because I do feel that a game that does what it's doing right now would be able to handle itself just fine um, in a turn-based environment. Oh man! And here I go sliding again. Oh man! Very troublesome. Ooh, let's just try to kill things. I guess while I'm sliding around every which way, <laughs> every which way. Because yeah, these ghosts aren't going to stop spawning unless I get into the heart of things. Um, which, of course, I mean, you know, I can do. Ah, oh, great. Everybody, go ahead and pander to me. Why, why would I even use that word? That was from last episode. And there's a bunch of bullets. Can I go here without slip sliding? Alright, cool. Just try to kill a bunch of ghosts. If I can kill them faster than they spawn, 
that works too, to an extent. I'd love to go flying a bit, and I mean, let's just try to get, ah, come on, come on, come on. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous, especially because I have to worry about multiples. Okay, there we go. A single source has been found. I'm wondering, because this, this is a limited area, is this like cash? This is something. Yeah, I guess I do have cash. Huh, <laughs> funny that. Oh, come on, come on. I'm, I'm almost there, freaking almost there. Please be health, thank you for being health. Okay, there we go, I got it. Now let's go ahead and get to the airlock that'll allow me to do things. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, all bodies have been found, and I, I need to un-airlock this. And I guess, oh darn it, oh no! Oh man, that was terrifying. There, there we go. Okay, so all bodies have been found, which I guess means they have been also airlocked properly because I've done all that airlocking. Um, so what, I guess all that leaves now is killing all the ghosts on this floor. All right, sure, let's try to do that. And, you know, do it in such a way that uh, I stay alive. Do, do, do. Come on, ghosts, finish you up. Uh oh, I'm sliding, I'm sliding. I can't stop myself. Oh man, I can't stop myself. I never really used the, come on, just, there, thank you. I never really used the gun. It just, unfortunately, the controls, for whatever reason, they just, they're not working well with me. I don't really get it, but that's just what's happening, so. All the bodies have been found. I'm glad for that, but now what do I do? Do I go on to the next area? I mean, I've already taken care of the reactor. I guess I can find what's in all of these, collect caches of cash. <laughs> A little pun, I didn't even mean to do that. But, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all that there is to this. I don't know if, um... For instance, if the game has a distinct end where it says, Victory! You have assured the safety of this completely empty uh, space station. I guess so it can be used from other, for other people for other reasons. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the sliding at all. Sometimes it, it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, and if I don't hold down, okay. Well, that's, that's nice. If I don't hold down, the controls are actually more responsive, I think. So there's that, too. So I just need to go ahead and find the rest of these. Oh, there's still a ghost. Okay. Please, thank you. Okay, well, there's that ghost. That ghost has been handled with extreme prejudice to those of the, un the extraterrestrial uh, origin, descent. I don't know. Oh, that's cash. That one's cold hard to cash. Collecting my buckazoids. Oh, maybe I have to go in the reactor area. I didn't even think about that. Let's try that. Let us try that. Um, although I don't know why that would be the case, but uh, it could be some kind of elevator-like area. Maybe? Can I just keep attacking it for some reason? I mean, it's just a reactor. Oh, is there anything else in this game that is unique? that would warrant me to think that there is another floor to go down. Because I can understand that if the game has multiple levels. You know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's just all there is to it. But, you know, I just I want to make sure that it's more or less a complete find when I, when I get this done. So I think that's it then. Um, let's just go ahead and send ourselves into the void of space just because. Oh boy, come on, there we go. <laughs> what fun. Alright, so yeah, this has been Game Hunter, playing um, Chase Brannock, Space Mechanic. That's the name. I like I like it. It's very rhymes and all that. So it's cool. I like it. It's kind of short. It's kind of prototypey in the sense that, you know, there isn't um, additional layouts and, and victories. and The controls could use some work. It could just be me. Uh, you know, if you guys play it, let me know if it's any better. Uh, join me next time when we take a look at another game from the 7 Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. Until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.